Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm in the kitchen, so that means one thing, we're talking about food. I know it's something that everyone's always so curious about, like, what do you eat? What do you eat for a snack? What do you eat for dinner? How do you stay in such great shape? Um, so today I figured, you know, I've been hearing a lot of people out there asking like, oh, reporters, what do you take for a great snack to keep healthy, but still like sustain your energy? Cause that's always the hardest part. And it's not just for reporters. It's not just for people in my industry, but it's really for anyone who goes to work, leaves their house and is like just trying to get through the day with lots of energy, but also like, crap, I need to eat lunch. That's why I tell you, like, I am a huge snacker. Like, anyone who knows me, they literally say, Annie, you eat all the time. And it's true, I really eat all the time. But it's because I snack. So I'm gonna give you some go-to snacks of if you guys have a fridge at your work you can use, or if you don't, and these just like last in your bag, you can literally keep them in the whole week and you'll be fine. So, let's just get started, but I should note, I have a huge sweet tooth, so a lot of my stuff, you're gonna be like, oh my God, everything's like cookie that or sugar that, but they are low in sugar. It's just, it has a sweetness to it because I would rather eat sugar than a carb, but carbs last longer in your body, so just saying. So the first things first, I'll just start, like if you have a fridge, my go-to are always Greek yogurts, and I always just throw some fruit in there or maybe some granola because it's just, easy to get that protein in, but still, you know, tastes good, feel satisfied, because that's the biggest thing, right, it's just to feel satisfied. Uh, second fruit, of course, I feel like I can just bypass all that, duh. Um, here are my go-to protein bars, because that's like the biggest thing. People are always like, what kind of protein bars do you um, intake? And when it comes to protein bars, there's so many that I have gone through that are just like trying to weave through everything. And honestly, that's the biggest thing. So first things first, I would have to say Quest Bars. If you've never heard of these, oh my God, they're absolutely amazing. If you don't like squishy bars, like doughy almost, then you're not gonna like this. But why I love them so much, they come in so many different flavors and they have 21 grams of protein in it and the sugar is so low. I think it's like, I don't know, uh, let me see here, just making sure. Mm, one gram of sugar, so it's insane. And they're only 190 calories, some of them are 170, which if you get like a think thin bar, which I like, but those are like 220, 220 calories. So to have under a 200 calorie bar, it's satisfying and it tastes good. Um, and doesn't taste chalky, then you know you got a good one. All right, moving on, I have these in my bag, literally every single bag. I think I have just baggies of them. And these are the legendary nut and berry mix. Almonds, cranberries, raisins, cashews, blueberries, walnuts, and raspberries. This is it, I get it for Trader Joe's. Half my stuff is like from Trader Joe's. Um, but I just love them. I only eat like a handful at a time, maybe two handfuls a day, but they're so satisfying. And I'm a walnut girl. Like I'll eat cashews and stuff, but I love walnuts. And they have walnuts in these, which is so hard to find because a lot of nut packages only have like cashews and um, almonds, but I love walnuts. So this is a great one. They also don't have salt in them. So it's just, you know, not gonna bloat you or anything like that. Next, oh, let me tell you this. So this is the other Quest Bar. I buy these like in packs. So this is from Target. This one is the cookies and cream. This one is the chocolate chip cookie dough, just in case you wanna know what I have. Okay, um, when I'm in the morning time and you know, nothing really sounds like that appetizing in the morning other than like breakfast food. So when I'm on the go and I need like something that's satiating, but I don't like, I can't have like a full meal. I know this sounds like I'm five years old, but frosted mini wheat. So it has the sugar in the morning time, which you can intake because you know, in the morning time, that's more when you're supposed to have like a bigger meal or you're allowed to have a little bit of that sugar because you burn it off throughout the day. So I love these because I just take a big baggie full and I eat it and it's so um, like satiating because I'll down it with a bottle of water and you can only imagine like fiber mixed with water in your stomach like expands. So this lasts me until like lunchtime, I just bring a whole big bag and then down one bottle of water and I'm good to go. Now throughout the day when I'm just like, oh my God, I need salt or like 
I just need a snack. I don't know. I have these in my desk at like all times. This is um, popcorn. I hate being that person who pops it at work because then it just smells the whole place up. So I just buy this like, like boom chicka pop and I have this at my desk the whole time. Love that. Kettle corn also, great one, but has higher um, calories because it's very sugary. So just be careful about that. When it comes to like soda, I really try not to get a Diet Coke, even though it's so difficult because sometimes I'm so tired that I, I need a pick-me-up and I don't really want coffee in the afternoon because that'll keep me up. Um, so I will go for something that's still like bubbly but not sodium filled. I don't know if you've ever tried these. I think they're called La Croix. These are here. They're like little cans. This is the grapefruit one. They're French. No calories, no artificial sweeteners. Basically, it's like sparkling water, but not with sodium, like no sodium. Uh, Cause some sparkling waters, like the Calistoga one, some of them have sodium in them. Just letting you know, if you never knew that. And then to get uh, me to drink a lot of water, cause now I'm in Denver. If I don't drink enough water, I will have the biggest headache because the altitude here just gets to me. So I keep these literally I know I say the word literally a lot so ignore that fact <laughs> I keep these in all my purses all my bags like in my car they're these crystal light um, flavor packets I've been drinking these since I was like in high school um, this is the orange one people always say that's so weird because orange is gross but if you like orange juice this tastes just like it it's like uh, it's unreal so they're just like these little packets. You put it in a 16 ounce bottle of water that I drink like the regular water and then I fill it up in the tap water and I'll put the packet in because I'm not gonna waste like the good water when this masks that anyways. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? Uh, yeah, I have about two of these a day so it gets me to drink an extra 32 ounces because it's so good. I love it. Final thing, this is probably what I eat majority of the time when I'm starving at work and I know it will satisfy me but here's there's a catch-22 so I'm going to tell you what they are but my next video for next week I'm going to tell you how to make them all you need is like six ingredients 12 minutes that's all it takes to make them like all together of like baking and everything these are my infamous date cookies so basically it's like almond flour um, and oats, um, dates to sweeten it, and then like almond milk. It, they're so easy. But anyways, I put chocolate chips in mine. I do half the chocolate chips, half without. So when I just want like something to like satisfy me because I'm starving, I'll take the ones without the chocolate chips. And then when I want a sweet tooth, but I'm not gonna obviously have a Snicker bar because I'm good, I'm good, half the time. I will eat the ones with chocolate chips in them. So they're like this and they're super moist. They literally look like a little oatmeal cookie. But they're very dense and that's why they're so satisfying and satiating. And you have to be careful because they're so good and they're low in sugar because you're using dates instead of sugar. But they're so good at the same time they're really filling. So like you'll have one, you're like, I want another one, they're so good. And you'll have another one and you'll just be like, I can't eat anymore. I'm so stuffed because they have so much fiber in them that, oh my God, y'all. Like last night, I had two and a half cookies before I went to bed. Yeah, that was not a good look for this morning because I woke up and I was like, oh, hey. My stomach's a little bit bigger than it should be, <laughs> but they're really good. So once you learn how to make them, I swear you'll have them like stocked in your cabinet all times. And it literally takes, you could make them before work if you really wanted to. I don't recommend it because we're all running around during that time. But these are my go-to snacks. If you guys have any go-to snacks that are like healthy um, and whatever, like just let me know because I'm always looking for that too. But don't get me wrong, like I eat really, really healthy, but 20% of the time, like I don't, like I don't care. I'm living life, like I work. If I'm stressed and all that's around is a Snickers bar and I'm starving, I'm gonna eat it because I'm starving and I'm not gonna like let my energy drop and then, yeah. But I just wanna let everyone know, like I'm human too. 75 to 80% of the time, I am so healthy, I work out, I'm like a fiend when it comes to this kind of stuff. 
But 20% of the time, like, I'm living. I, I, I can't worry about, oh my God, I'm gonna gain weight, or oh my God, this is so bad for me. It's like, it's one time, you know? Anyways, I'll see you guys in my next video, which will be making my date cookies. So stick around for that. I'll see you next week.